This is my jar of love. This is my jar of happiness. Every other day it would fill up with these little notes. Little notes of love. As I open the jar, my heart pounds with excitement as I pick a chit out. These little notes are magic written in the handwriting of my loved ones. This jar is more powerful than any medicine you can ever imagine for relieving stress and bringing so much positivity. Namaste. I am Gargi and you are watching The Aligned Souls. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul. This was gifted to me by my husband and kids when I was not at my best. It was a tough phase as I grappled with a lot of setbacks. Nothing was going well. I was very upset. It had started to show up in my behavior at home. One evening, as I was getting ready for bed, my husband and kids walked in with this jar full of notes. They said, Mama, this is for you. But this is a game. You cannot open more than one note each night. So you take one note tonight and then go to sleep. Okay, no cheating. The three of them giggled sheepishly and then went out of the room. I was super tired and had no interest in getting caught up in another prank. But I was like, what's the big deal? Let me grab just one chit. I took one, then another, and then another. By the time I was on the 15th or the 20th note, I was in tears. Tears of pure happiness, pristine happiness. Oh my God, I'm still getting goosebumps just thinking about that evening. Every note was like an antidote to stress, a kick, a knockout punch to the negativity in my head. And note by note, all I had in my head was love and joy. And as if they were just waiting outside, they walked in and hugged me. That night, I slept like a baby. Yes. Now we have four of them. The jars, I mean. One for each family member. Me, my spouse and two kids. Here is how it works. Whenever we feel that we want to thank someone for helping out or show honest appreciation for what they have done for us or how they are or just anything that you want to say to express love, gratitude, you just grab a chit, write it down and then drop it into the jar of the person for whom it is meant. Let me show you a couple of samples. Here is a chit from my daughter. She has written the date, then one or two lines, and then her name. That's it. It's that simple. Here's another one. One more. Isn't it cute? So I guess you can now imagine that night when I went through almost 20 such notes. You know, this initially started as a little gesture, a little game. I think my husband had read about it somewhere. But now, when we think of it, it makes so much sense. It's not just some silly stuff. As we started keeping these jars on the table, it felt so good as new notes kept appearing in the jars. There is so much positivity. It's like these jars are emitting positive vibes throughout the house. First, they are like these glowing bulbs of positivity at home. Then, they are like a gratitude journal. Whenever you see them, they make you think of something good about the family members around you. What am I grateful for? What can I thank them for? These thoughts start to come up as you want to contribute those notes in the jars. It's the people who we stay with all the time, whom we often take for granted. When was the last time we thanked our spouse for taking care of the kids so that we could go out for that event or for helping with house chores? These little things. It's these little things that make up the majority of our lives. If only we can cherish these moments together and show our appreciation. Ah, what would it be? Oh my God. And it's not about small things or big things. It's about developing a habit of gratitude, developing a sanskar of gratitude. What do we do normally? We find faults in what the other person does. These are also small things, right? but they are negative. Even if we do not say out negative things, the thoughts are negative. And this becomes a habit. And over time, the relations suffer. Most relations do not die overnight. Day by day, these negative thoughts, comments keep piling up. So, 
so we just have to reverse it doesn't matter if it's a big thing or small even if it's small we have to keep piling up these positive ones in our jar in our family in our home and then of course these jars are like painkiller bottles with pills made of these little notes every time you are hurt every time you start to sing you can grab one of these pills and wow does that work like magic it shifts your focus from constant grinding in your head to somewhere warm a place that is so full of love that there is no place for resentment regret or pain oh god i love these jars do give it a try and let me know how you like them we are working on a course on mindfulness and meditation if you are interested please fill your details in the form given in the description and we will inform you once it's ready don't forget to watch this video where we explore how we can use gratitude for lasting happiness thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind body and soul